I turn on my camera and it was the most depressing sight ever. It says no card in the camera. I freaking forgot my SD card because I just uploaded a video. First time this has happened, but I knew it was gonna happen someday. So guess I'm not vlogging this. Guess I'll just show you what I got when I get home. Hello crazy fam, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Tori and this was intended to kind of be a vlog and then haul. But like I said before, I didn't have an SD card in that camera, so now it's just a haul on its own. And I have a bunch of different stuff from a bunch of different discount stores, so you're gonna see a bunch of different things from clothing to food to home to everything in between. And I'd really appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam before we get into everything. I do everything Thing from videos on helping you figure out adulting, vlogs along the way to entertain you, and things like this, you know, sit down, haul videos, talk with me type of stuff, and let's get right into the haul. And I have the clothing items in front of me here, so let me show you. They are, I can't believe how affordable they are and great. I was so happy. I got every single one in my size. And so the first thing I got right here is a dress. It has more of like a checkered pattern, you see? It looks like that. It's just a checkered pattern, sort of. And it is a very form-fitting Calvin Klein dress. And the cheapest I have ever gotten Calvin Klein in my whole entire life was like $20, I think, or like $25 for a dress. And that's when I worked at a store, used my employee discount, got it for way cheaper, because all these dresses say they're compared at 50. I don't know how much Calvin Klein really costs in the store, because I've never bought it there, but at Macy's I got it for like, 25 I think 20 is the cheapest and I don't think you're gonna believe this but this dress right here was $12 I'm gonna show you the tag just to prove it to you it was $12 on clearance I had to get it I searched forever for my size because they had a bunch of ones that were way too big for me and I found my size and then I looked for every single other Calvin Klein dress they had sold at that store because I would buy any Calvin Klein for that price, basically. And speaking of any Calvin Klein for that price, I did buy a pretty neon pink dress from Calvin Klein with an interesting neckline. So it has a feathered neckline like this and a v-neck it is again another form fitting calvin klein it's just a plain pink color but this one i got for even better of a deal like this is insane i don't even buy usually like discount company dresses for this cheap so the fact that i'm getting a calvin klein for that price and i love calvin klein my closet is filled with calvin klein actually this dress is not calvin klein but it is similar style and i have a bunch of the dresses Love them. It's so easy for work because you don't have to plan an outfit. You can kind of just throw on your dress and go. I'm losing my voice for a second. Where did I put my juice? Hold on. I'm like, I don't know why my voice is scratchy, but I already opened this juice up. So let me just take a sip of it real quick. Let's see if that's better. That's better. That's definitely better. But this is one of my Big Lots finds. It was a big thing of zero sugar juice. And I kind of want to see what it was like with zero sugar. But let me get back to what I was telling you about clothing. So if you thought $12 was good for Calvin Klein, this pink one, which, oh, it's just so cute, even though this is not my normal style at all, it was $9. Like, that is mind-boggling to me for Calvin Klein to be $9 when it is, oh, oh, this one's originally compared at 68 And let's see, it has its tag. Oh, my goodness. I should check the other one because it still has its Calvin Klein tag. It has a price of $89.98 on the actual Calvin Klein tag. And the black and white one, let's see what that one is. The compared at tags, I feel like at Marshalls and TJ Maxx are never accurate. Oh, I also went to TJ Maxx too, in addition to Marshalls. Oh, and I went to Burlington. I have problems, okay? Um, so yeah, the other Calvin Klein dress is also MSRP at um, $89.98. And I have one last Calvin Klein dress, and then I have another clothing item somewhere in the mix here that we will get to at some point, but this is the last Calvin Klein. I have this dress in another color, so don't judge me. I actually kind of like the other color better. I did get a little grease on it, so it's not exactly happy with me, but I like this one too. It is another form-fitting Calvin Klein dress. It has a section right here that is open, so you can actually, is this the one you can see your skin through? So you can't see your skin through it, I think my green one you might be able to, I can't remember. But either way, it has this little strip right here, almost like you can see your skin through it, and it's form-fitting from basically the waist up, and then down below it poofs out just a little bit, and then it has the bottom part that is the same as the middle, but that part is see-through. And so this one, oh, super cute. This one was the most expensive one at $13, compared at $50, and its actual tag says, again, 
$89.98. I guess maybe all the dresses go for that price. But I'm so happy. So all three of those dresses were less than buying one dress, even on a discount. So let's get into some more stuff. I'm just going to pick from in front of me, and it's going to be very, very random. Ooh. Since I haven't had my dinner yet, this one calls me, and that is Reese's Puffs. I went to Big Lots, and I went down their kind of like food aisle, because I was like, you know what, maybe I just want a few little snacky somethings or nothing. And I got Reese's Puffs, because this is probably one of my favorite cereals, like, ever. And it was on sale there for $2.50. I could probably get, like, some kind of other better discount and get a better price for it, but I figured I would get it while I was there. I feel like I got another cereal somewhere here because I'm pretty sure I started eating it the night I bought it, which I went shopping, I believe, yesterday or the day before yesterday. The days start to blend together in quarantine, but let me grab this stuff in front of me. So I have a Dollar Tree bag right here, so let me just show you everything from Dollar Tree. Everything else is kind of shoved in bags together, but I'll tell you where it's from along the way. So what I got from Dollar Tree, which I went in there just for... This stuff right here, which I got two of them, but I picked this up while I was there because I definitely want to do like movie nights and I think these things are so cute. They're like the classic cardboard popcorn container things, but they're plastic. If you've ever seen these before, most likely the people that you saw that had them got them from Dollar Tree. I've never actually seen them anywhere else with this like very classic look to them and it's a two pack for a dollar, so you really can't beat that deal. Yes, I dropped that on the floor. But what I actually went there for was this stuff right here. I got two of them just in case I liked it and I didn't want to go back to the store. But I put it in so far, and I don't know how I feel about it. This was recommended to me, which it is the Luminescence Fresh Linen, and it's basically like a liquid. Well, it is a liquid. People said you can put it inside of your Febreze wall plug and things, and it smells really good. It does like the same thing, but you're not pying those individual little things of Febreze container things. I don't know what those are called. And one, those add up really quickly. And also I feel very wasteful because that's like thick plastic that you're throwing away every single time. And this one, you can fill up those wall plugins. And I don't know if it's strong enough for me. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer to see if I like it or not. And I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But this is what it is. You can just get it at Dollar Tree in like the candle-y type section. I also love to go there for, if you want to do like the wax melting candles, they have the thing that you can put the tea light in and the wax candle on top. So I find that a good place to buy them at and these are in the same aisle. Oh, and I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but it is 4th of July and fireworks are starting. So sorry if that's in the background. But I think that is everything I got from Dollar Tree. So let's move on. I went to Burlington, which if I still have the photos, I'll insert them here. It was dead. I hadn't been into a Burlington since I lived in downtown LA and I mostly shopped there, especially when I was like in Connecticut because there's just a lot of those stores around. And here, there hasn't been really one that close, but I went to like a further Burlington for that second day. And I went to Burlington, then I went to Michael's and TJ Maxx, and then when I was at TJ Maxx, I was like, oh darn, I can't go to really any other stores because everything closed at freaking 7. But Burlington is the best, and they close at 9 o'clock. So I went across, I'm like, oh, I haven't been here since I lived in downtown LA. I'm gonna find so many good stuff that I don't need to buy. And the sliding doors open, and all I saw was basically empty rack after empty rack after empty rack after empty rack. That was a tongue twister, but yes, it was basically no inventory. It was only a few racks with a few items on them each. And seriously, I will insert the photos if I have them. It was mind-boggling. But, you know, I'm me, and even in a dead store, I still find things to buy. So, <laughs> I bought this right here. I should have probably gone on this trend a long time ago, but I have like the reusable plastic straws and I only have a few of them and they get dirty pretty easily and they look kind of dingy. But these are the stainless steel ones. They look like this. They come with four bended straws, four straight straws, and two of those brush cleaner thingies to make it a lot easier to clean the inside so they aren't all nasty and growing weird things inside. And I thought this would just be perfect because of the fact that, you know, I just don't think those plastic ones look good, so I needed some ones that weren't gross. And so I am happy to have these and be able to use them. I'm a straw person even though I don't know who it was that I was friends with or lived with at some point was like, you shouldn't use straws, they're going to give you that around the mouth wrinkle type thing. And I'm like, it's worth it for me. I like me some straw action. So I'm going to put these in the kitchen and then one of two of the other things I got from Burlington are also in my kitchen and I forgot about it. 
but I'll tell you now, I got two seasonings, my favorite company that does seasoning, and I got two flavors I didn't have before. I actually wanted to get refills of the ones I do have, but they only had these two flavors, so I got them. It was like roasted garlic and rosemary or something, and then it was like garlic and something pepper or another. I haven't tried them yet. We'll see how they are. I really wanted to get one of these other ones that was like tomato, oregano, and basil. That's what I really wanted because I think that seasoning is like the best from them, but they didn't have it there. So um, speaking of that like food realm thing, I bought way too many of these. When I mean way too many, I mean I couldn't even fit them all in the shot if I wanted to. But I got a bunch of energy drinks. There's more of them. So I like the V8 energy drinks because they're the green tea energy, so they're better for you. And supposedly they have good stuff in them. Like, what does it say? It says, um, one combined serving of veggies and fruit in each one. So that can't be that bad for you. I've talked about these in videos before. I love them so so much. They are my favorite energy drink and I get them at Big Lots because they are the best deal I've ever found them as. They're $3.75 each and even buying the bulk packs them online I found them to be more expensive or slightly cheaper but you could only get one flavor and a really really big box of them. And so I got my favorite flavor and I think my third favorite flavor of the ones I've tried. So my favorite flavor of all is orange pineapple. I think it is delicious. It looks like this. It's hard to show you with my lights. But that is my favorite flavor, so I got six of these. Don't judge me. And then I got four of these, which is the pomegranate blueberry, which I also think it's pretty good. It's the one I got last time because they didn't have my orange pineapple. And I really wanted to get the pineapple coconut one, I think it was. But they didn't have any at this time, so I didn't feel to get them. So I only have like a few left in the fridge because I only got one container of them last time because I wasn't sure I was going to like the flavor. And then ignore all the stuff that started to pile up around me now on the other side of me in the frame. So ignore that. And the, oh, just the bag of the rest of them in there. And then there's some paper that's actually left over from stuff I got at Marshall's. So let me go over to the Marshall's bag over here. So this is right here. And the Marshall's bag got one of the best deals I've ever gotten in my life. Okay, I don't know. Calvin Klein's pretty up there in the best deal. But I would still say this is a better, ugh. Nah, Calvin Klein's the best deal. This is the second best deal of the day. Cheapest item I probably bought. And let me open one of them up. Because I got double of this one, which is why one is still wrapped up. It is perfume. So I was in the perfume aisle and I was like, okay, I need perfume. But it's so hard because you don't get to smell them in stores like discount stores. You're getting them a lot cheaper than you get somewhere else for the same company. But you don't get to smell them. But I'm that person where I must check out and I'm like, can you open this up? I want to smell it before I buy it. And then I have to make a decision really quickly. So I picked up these because at first I saw them with, with these red tags. And if you can tell what that says, it says it is $3. So yes, I saw this in the perfume aisle and I'm like, no way in heck is this going to smell good. This is going to be like a cheap, dingy perfume. It's $3, like no way in heck. But the packaging actually looks like it was a nicer company. And it was, I can never say this, Eau de Perfume. I can't say that at all. But either way, the packaging made it look like it was a nicer company. So like look at the packaging right there. That is what it looks like. It's definitely nicer. It's not your cheap plastic perfume bottles, which would normally be something for $3. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to bring them to checkout and I will smell them. I love the scent of them. And also while I was waiting in the very, very, very long line at Marshall's, very, very long line at Marshall's. I looked it up and people were selling these things on eBay for $50. I bought it for three. I think the company doesn't sell the set anymore and that's why it was so discounted. And also they didn't come with the boxes. They were in those security box things so people couldn't smell them or, you know, use them up but they didn't have an actual box from the perfume company. And the company sells like other perfumes but I didn't see this one on their website anymore. And it smells so, so good. I got one that is Transparent Touch and the other one is Sheer Skin. So in Transparent Touch, they had two of them, so I got both of them. And then Sheer Skin, they only got one, so I bought one. I think they smell so good, such a good price. You're not gonna buy actual nice end perfume for $3 ever. You're not even gonna buy cheap, cheap, gross perfume for $3. 
So I was very happy about that, but still, Calvin Klein beats it. I, I just can't not beat that. And then I have some other stuff in here. Let's get to it. Um, what do we want? What do we want? Let's go to another drink item because all I'm thinking about right now is I don't know why my throat is so scratchy. Maybe it's because I'm in quarantine and I haven't been talking enough. But this is another drink item. I kind of went a little hard on the drink things. Went a little ham. Not sure why. Maybe I was thirsty and it made me attracted to all the drinks. But I got another V8 thing, which is V8 Splash Berry Blend. So this is what it looks like. I like this one. It's really good. It's honestly not that healthy for you to do v8 splash like regular v8 yeah but v8 splash basically like sugary punch but i like it and it tastes good so you know the other thing i got for juice which is what i showed you before is this stuff right here it is um tempico irresistible i'm not really sure who this is like what company this is at all but it is zero sugar, citrus punch, orange, tangerine, lemon, and I love me like a citrusy type of drink. And so I got this one because, mostly because it was the zero calories. So, I'm, not zero calories, zero sugar. And a lot of times these types of drinks, like I said, have a lot of sugar in them. I almost got the V8 one that was a citrus one, but I decided because this one was way bigger for the same price and it was zero sugar. So I wanted to give it a try and I think it's pretty good. It's not like my favorite juice at all, but I... I think it's good. You can definitely get a lot of like snack foods, drinks, and sodas and all that type of stuff and like cereal at Big Lots because they'll be usually discounted like way cheaper and you know who doesn't want to beat a discount? If you're gonna buy it anyway why does it matter if you're buying it from Big Lots? I never understood that about people that are judging people for shopping at discount stores like I'm getting the same product as you for less money. Like, you can't beat that. And so the other thing I got for cereal was honeycombs. And I haven't had these in forever. And I don't know how I remembered that I liked these. But I was craving them the other week. And I wasn't sure exactly what I was craving. I just remember what they kind of looked like. Not the brand or anything. And this is exactly what I wanted. Like, seriously. I got home from Big Left. I ate dinner. And then later I was watching a movie and I went... I kind of want them. I don't have any milk because I didn't go to the grocery store, but I kind of want my honeycombs. So I'm sitting there, I'm watching my movie, just eating my honeycombs as I go. So hold on, let me finish I'll keep talking to you. So I got the honeycombs because, you know, I just want to pick up some cereal and it's good to have them around. And it was $2.50 for the giant box of them. I think they're going to be good. I can't wait until I have some milk. I don't know if I'll like them with milk. But I think I would like them with milk. They taste good without it, which is the only reason why I ate them without it, obviously. I don't think Reese's Puffs taste as good without milk, but I think like honeycomb type stuff, it kind of does. kind of tastes like those like baby food, you know, like those no-choke baby food things. I think I've had them before, and I'm pretty sure I remember them being good. So we're not going to judge that. Oh, I have other... What, what do I have? I have... Two more clothing items something school related, something home related, and something cat related. So let's get to it. I'm just going to grab as I go. I have a video that is already out. I think it was the last posted video, which goes over some renovation type things or makeover or decorating, whatever you want to call it in my room. That was my previous video and I got a bunch of these. And yes, I am showing you this even though it is an empty package for what the item is because, well, I spent a lot of money on it. So it deserves a moment in this haul, okay? And it is curtains. So here's the package for it. I got six curtain panels. Yes, you heard me right, six. Three on each side of my window and it covers the whole entire wall. And I love it because it's floor to ceiling. I got them for a great price. If you wanna know anything more about them or see what they look like in this space, just head to the previous video. But let me move on to the rest of the stuff so I don't bore you to death with stories about things I've already posted. And here what I got is something very, very interesting. And it's just a plain black notebook with lines on the inside. I use these all the time for when I want to do an actual full list for my to-do list instead of just in my calendar or if I want to write out notes or video ideas or something. I'm a very on paper type of person. I really wish I could be one of those people that uh, I just like spit. Uh. 
I really wish I could be one of those people that liked taking their notes online, liked planning their calendar online because it makes it so much easier because you can go out of your house or not have your bag and you know what notes you took and what things are in your calendar and then you can get push notifications, all this different stuff. But it's not the same for me when I don't write it down. So I need notebooks and then usually I'll just put like the really important stuff in my phone too so I can easily access it. But if you were just starting out in like the note taking type of realm or you're just starting like high school or college or whatever, don't do this. Go straight to online because one of the best features about online and note taking is you can search. So you can be like, um, the definition for this item. Like you just put the title of the word and it'll find the word in everywhere you have written down. Like if I wanted to, if I took notes on different types of bank accounts I want to set up and I put in savings account, it would show me everything I wrote about savings account instead of me going, wait, I think it's on this page or maybe it's this page or maybe it's this page. And no matter how organized your notes are, it's still not going to change the fact that being able to search it is a lot quicker than flipping through pages. But I'm, I'm too far along. It's too far for me being able to go back. So I still need to be able to write things down and that's why I got notebooks. I got them at Big Lots, they were like a dollar. They're kind of like really cheap paper and stuff. So I wouldn't exactly recommend getting your notebooks from Big Lots because the paper was really cheap and I didn't realize and like I write stuff and then I flip to the next page and I go back, I can see the text from the next page, which I don't like. But at the same time, maybe it's good because maybe I'm sav saving the planet a little bit more by having thinner, cheaper paper, maybe? Either way, I shouldn't be taking notes. This is for Astro, and I can definitely hear the fireworks starting now because it's starting to get darker, so that kind of makes sense. But I just got another one of these cat scratcher thingies. It was like five bucks. I honestly think it's a little overpriced for a cardboard block, but she loves them, and it helps her not scratch other things as much, though she still does it. So this thing right here, it's literally just a piece of cardboard, and they're kind of like all stacked together so that it's the open side of cardboard so you can scratch on it. It comes with a little thing of catnip that you can put inside of it. My cat doesn't really like catnip, so I kind of just like maybe sometimes try to give it to her, but most parts, if I put it on the floor, she wouldn't even eat it. So probably not going to get used, but the scratchy thing definitely is. Hers right now is destroyed, which is why I needed another one. Like there's holes like go all the way through. I hit one of my lights and it kind of went down. But either way, hers is destroyed. But hold on, let me fix my light. I can definitely hear all those fireworks going off. So let me finish the last few items I have in front of me here. Let me just make sure I got everything. I'm still probably going to forget something, guys. It always happens every single time. And I also just ordered things on Amazon. So maybe there'll be another haul coming soon. I have problems. So this is the last two clothing items and almost the last two items in general is this skirt right here. It has a opening kind of slit on the side. It doesn't go that high though. And this dress is definitely ankle length dress when I wear it up like here. And I thought it would be cute because I thought I could wear it with like a bathing suit and have it almost like a cover up, but like the top section open if that makes sense. And then I can also, you know, wear in more business attire, wear like a plain black like top. And I can also get away with wearing crop tops with it. I think I can definitely dress up or down. It has this cute pattern and it's super smooth. Like it feels so nice on the skin. I got it for $10. It was originally $16 at Marshalls. Oh my goodness. It has its actual company tag and it's Mac Studio. And girl, it was $68 originally. Who spent $68 on this skirt when I got it for $10? That is mind boggling. Mind boggling? There we go. Mind boggling. I still can't believe that at all. Sorry the lighting keeps changing because every time I put stuff like close to you guys, the lighting changes in the background. But let me finish the last... I think this might be the last item. Oh wait, no. <laughs> this two items are the last item. Very different things. I got this thing of apple juice for the last drink item. Again, it is, um, well, it's technically apple punch. Not apple juice, which I really question now that I read that but it's from um, Tempico Irresistible again. And I thought of my friend when I was at the store, so I got apple juice because he really likes apple juice, even though now I know it's apple punch and I'm not sure how that's gonna taste. But I got that and then this item was from a Ross trip not that long ago and I feel like I didn't include this in a haul, but it's this little black lace number thing right here. Technically it is like lingerie. I love how it's like me like peeking up through the armpit area trying to like see if you guys can see this. It has a cute lace detail. I thought it would actually be really cute to have, you know, 
a crop top or something and have jeans and then have this part covering my stomach because you obviously can't have the top part showing because you know it's not really socially acceptable to have my nipples showing out so definitely couldn't wear this out in public unless I had a top over it and I wouldn't really wear it much in private because even though it is like lingerie technically it's not really like sexy lingerie it's just like a little lace number the one thing I hate though so right now in stores obviously you can't try stuff on in most states like I can't try things on all fitting rooms are closed everywhere which makes sense and it also makes my shopping trips a lot quicker and also buy it makes me buy more things that I shouldn't but I didn't get to try this on so I didn't realize the back is a plain just like see-through number like this like you can see on my hand and the rest of the front is a actual pretty lace detailing and so I hate the back it's just like way too plain and it's also really big on the butt like it's not a thong number at all so not my favorite thing but it's not really worth going back to the store and I also got it for a really good price which oh my goodness I don't know how that happened but it's like completely like sun damaged like you can't even see the tag anymore I think I had this sitting on a table near the window and now you can't even like really read it but it says it was $6.99 which is not a bad price for like a lace number thing but that's still crazy it's completely worn out okay that is everything the one thing i didn't show you much detail is the bag that i got the replacement for so the one so the one i had before had more um detailing and like see-through parts on it but this one is just a plain wicker look i actually kind of like it i don't know if i like the old one better or this one better but i still can't change the fact that they didn't have the other one and you know i went with this one instead so this one was $19.99, the other one I got was for $10. And the reason why I got this in replacement for the other one and didn't originally do it was because originally when I was at TJ Maxx, they had it for like way more money for this bag. And so I was like, you know what, I'll just get the damaged one and I'll fix it. And then I went back and realized they were selling it for way cheaper now, so I got it. And I just got a different pattern on it, and then the inside of it looks different too, which I actually like the inside of this one way better. It's like this blue and white number with palm trees on the inside of it, and I think it's one a lot cuter too. I feel like it's going to look a lot less dirty than the last one, which was all beige on the inside. And if you want to see the last bag or my last intense amount of shopping I did, feel free to check out my other shopping video. But if you want to see what that bag looks like and a bunch of my other over shopping, I will link down below my vlog. And if you if you want to see what that bag looks like or my other bunch of shopping, I will link down below my haul playlist, which has a bunch of different hauls from things I went out and bought and things I have at home. Like I hauled my whole entire purse collection, all of my shoes, so feel free to check that out after this. And that is everything I got from all of the stores. Now be lucky that you end here and don't have to put everything that is thrown around me away because it's a lot and my closet is a disastrous mess. But I appreciate you all getting this far in the video. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam if you haven't already. I will see you in one day with a new video because I post almost every other day during quarantine. So have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you crazy fam. I'll see you soon, and until then, feel free to check out the haul playlist down below.